Be nice to bees. You might not care as much for your dinner if they were not buzzing around your neighborhood. If we didn't have pollinators, the only kinds of foods we could eat would be uh, wind-pollinated vegetables, say, such as grasses, grains, and um, grapes and things of that nature. Jeff Miller runs a company that sells beekeeping supplies. His company partnered with the Walker Jones Elementary School to start this community garden tended by students and local volunteers. Well, you can't talk about urban farming without talking about pollinators any more than you could talk about urban farming without talking about um, water or sunlight. A lot of the aspects of your life are impacted by the pollination services that honeybees provide. Researcher Heidi Wolf first surrounded herself with bees as a teen 13 years ago. Now she studies them at George Washington University. Plants do not thrive without pollination. They cannot complete their life cycle without pollination, and bees provide that service. And while many people worry about being stung by bees, both Miller and Wolf say that's a big misunderstanding. These are not uh, aggressive beings, and they're rather gentle. We've been trying to prove that with our, our proximity here. That's in part because if they sting you, their stingers fall off and they will die. It, it is a little, bit, a little bit of a kamikaze kind of situation, yeah. But the reality is we haven't had a stinging incident here anyway. Miller says that's because bees don't care too much about people in the first place. Bees are just focused on, on doing their own work and they're not really interested in being bothered by humans and they're not interested in, in, in you. They're just there to collect nectar and pollen and bring it back to the colony. Miller says it takes about $400 to start your own hive, but that each one yields about 45 kilograms of honey every year. But Wolf cautions would-be amateur beekeepers to do some research first. You don't just want to get a box of bees, throw it somewhere and just hope you figure it out because that's when you get problems, that's when your neighbors get scared, that's when people get stung. And that's bad for business. Wolf says bees need all the positive press possible and that irresponsible beekeepers do more harm than good to the pollination process. In Washington, Arash Arabasadi for VOA News.